Hello everyone, welcome back to another round of Connections. This is for August 4th, that will be for Friday, uh, 2023. Um, stick around guys, because as soon as I'm done with the solve, I will update you so that we're current through August 2nd. I forget exactly what the name of that uh, theme is um, for the yellow category, but um, I think it might have been computer equipment. Okay, so it'll be very exciting to see who's in the lead. And again, guys, please, um, uh, if for any reason you don't see your name, uh, please give me uh, in the comments your result for a missing uh, for a missing episode of Connections so that everybody is included. All right, guys, so let's get cracking here today and let's figure out what on earth we're dealing with. Let's read these off. We've got Tom High Silk um, Chester, Rocky Altar Calvin Reliquary, Temple, Sylvester, Abbey, Felix, Harry, Grover, Garfield, and Trent. Ah, uh, shoot, this one's going to be a rough one. Yesterday's was perfect for me because it was a little bit more kind of like, you know, with the courses, even though I didn't quite call it what they wanted, but I think we all agree that those are just, you know, academic subjects abbreviated. It was just more like, yeah, it was up, it was kind of up my alley. These have a lot of names, I can tell already, and I'm not good at those. So this is probably going to be a rough one. I, I think I have three fives in a row. This could be my first day where we're going to uh, hopefully not fail, okay? Because a zero is going to be hard to get out of, but we'll do our best here. All right. Now, the first thing that pops out at me is um, some presidents here. Now, I'm just trying to figure out, are we looking at their first names or their last names? Because um, I see this Grover. Um Grover, hmm. Gro uh, was it Grover Cleveland? Yeah, I think so. Now this, this is Chester. I think it's Chester Arthur, Chester A Arthur, Chester B Arthur, one of the two. <laughs> but so Chester looks good. Okay, this is easy. That's Calvin Coolidge. Okay. Um. Oh, Harry, Harry S Truman, and that's very fitting. Um. Probably they came up with that. Because he's uh, directly in alignment with the uh, Oppenheimer movie. In fact, uh, Harry Truman makes a cameo appearance uh, in the Oppenheimer movie. And then I'm pretty sure it's Grover Cleveland. Now, Garfield was a president, but I think that was his last name. So I think they're going with presidential first names. I don't know of a Tom. I don't think there was a Rocky or a Sylvester or a Felix. Yeah, Calvin Coolidge, Chester Arthur, Harry Truman, Grover Cleveland. Let's see if we got... Uh, presidential first names, I think, would be the correct name of the category. Perfect. Okay. And that was the level three. Now, next up, it looks like we've got some, I guess you could say, religious places. Um, we've got a temple. We've got a shrine. We have an abbey. We have a reliquary. And we have an altar. Ah, hate it when that happens. So, of course, there has to be an odd man out. So I think that I think the way I look at it, the um, I think I would probably go more with the altar, right? Because the altar and the shrine are really very similar. The reliquary, I think that's more of a holding, uh, like a storage place for uh, uh, religious objects. Okay. Whereas Abbey is just, um, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the physical location. I don't know. It's, it's sort of a tough call, but I mean, I don't know. I just sort of feel like temple, shrine, reliquary, altar, they, they're, they're all pretty much places of worship. Whereas the Abbey, I mean, you could worship there, but it's more of like, um, I mean, it's not not exactly a monastery. I mean, isn't an abbey? Um, is that not um, sort of like where the? Um, I think where the where the nuns uh, live. Okay, so I don't know. I, I I think this is pretty reasonable, and you know, we we got rid of a category with no error. So let's try this. Places for worship. Okay, perfect. I think I might have said that. Yeah, because I just don't think the Abbey is like the actual place that you go to to worship, right? Um, it's more of um, almost like a, the domicile where um, 
either the nuns or maybe the abbot um, reside. Okay. All right. Now, now we're ooh, now we got some tricky stuff. Now this is trying. This is cute. I know they're trying to fool you with trying to go with Rocky and Sylvester. Sylvester Stallone, of course, playing Rocky. Um, but I don't think they would go together. That wouldn't really make sense. Yeah. Now the okay, hang on. Now this Garfield and Felix, these look like cats. Like um famous cats, but they're kind of like cartoon cats. Okay. Then I don't think Rocky was a cat. Rocky was um oh help me out guys he was some other kind of animal a squirrel wasn't rocky a squirrel let me know okay but now of course tom and jerry right and then yeah sylvester um he was another cat i can't quite quite remember what cartoon he was in maybe let me know guys but um yeah garfield i know is a standalone cartoon felix let me know what cartoon he was in tom, and then of course tom and jerry so I'm, I think we're going to nail this, guys, okay? I think we're going to nail this. I think we have a guaranteed four. And then I that this last category, to try to name it for the fifth point, is going to be tricky. Nice. Cartoon Cats. Okay. So, Abby, Rocky, Silk, and High. Before I click, let's see if we can get our fifth point. Incidentally, a little bit of confusion regarding how you get that fifth point. Guys, it only happens in this situation where you have not burned any mistakes. You have all four intact. You would technically, I could technically win and stop the game right now, right? With no errors. But you have to pause and you have to be able to name this final category. And you have to have named all of them along the way. So, so far we've, done, we've been perfect. No mistakes. In fact, I think for the most part, I've actually called them exactly as written. Okay, so to get the fifth point, we must get this category. If I can't figure it out, I'll just hit submit and I'll still get four points, right? Because I had four mistakes remaining. All right, now let's go. Now, so again, the thing I go through here is they don't look like names. I don't think that they're not going to be like first or last names. So we can remove that. Then the next step is you always ask yourself, is there kind of like some nonverbal thing going on? Like, like, for instance, they had like words composed strictly of Roman numerals. I don't see that. Okay, I've had in my thumbnails words made of curved lines or, you know, curvy letters, rounded letters, or just straight letters. Words that, like, had all the vowels in them. Funny things like that. Again, I don't see anything where it's like a word play, per se, okay? So then, usually, it comes down to, can I attach a common word to each of these? That's probably what we're looking at, okay? So, Rocky Mountains... High mountains, but then that falls apart because I don't think I've heard of Silk Mountains or Abbey Mountains, okay? So what else? Um, you know, Rocky Balboa, that wouldn't work. Rocky Road, okay, Rocky Road. Rocky Road, I think, is an ice cream. And then, yeah, take you could take the high road. You can take the high road, okay? That's actually not looking bad. Silk Road, I don't know what it is, but it sounds like it could be you know, I don't know, maybe like a um, a book or a movie. And then Abbey Road certainly sounds reasonable. I think that sounds reasonable. So yeah, I think we're going to go with Road. Ooh, that would be awesome. So let's keep our fingers crossed for Road. And then you guys can let me know in the comments what on earth Silk Road and Abbey Road is. Assuming that we got Road. Is it Road? Bam! Ooh, guys. Art is on a roll. That's four in a row with no errors and naming every category. Trust me, my luck is going to run out very soon. Okay, it's going to run out very soon. That was a good one. Um, how are people going to do on that? Um, I could see people maybe making an accident with the presidential first names and, and getting Garfield mixed up. That's a possibility. Um, again, I'm amazed at all the UK players and out of the US who are able to crush this thing because you have to basically just, it's, it's a U.S. centric puzzle. So to know our presidents is very impressive. Um, if this had anything to do with like, you know, kings or queens in England, I, I would be, I would be completely screwed. Okay. Places for worship is not going to be hard at all. Just the tricky thing with the Abbey, but I think people will 
you know, reason it out. I don't think people will have too much trouble with the cartoon cats. And then naming the road, that might be the only thing. So I think there will be a lot of fours today and, and, a, and a few fives. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm, I'm really starting to figure this game out, which is cool because it's, you know, it's got a lot of strategy, even if you don't know necessarily each individual word, uh, you know, exactly how it belongs to the overarching category. Well, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Now, stay put because guess what? We're going to do an update on the results effective for August 2nd. All right, guys, and here we are. Uh, here's the results um, for the August 2nd connections, which indeed was computer equipment. Um, give me a little bit of time and I'll do, you know, the aggregate total. Um, but these are the results just for that day. Okay. And you know, your result from yesterday, so you can gauge where you're, uh, positioned overall after the first two days. Okay. But I just need a little time to work on that. But for computer equipment, Ascension rebounded immensely from, I remember he got a zero the other day. Now he's got a five. Brandon Baker has a five. Uh, so that's two fives for him. Good job. Cable wire has a five. D-Bone Capone got a five. Dora A has a five, so that's two in a row for her. Jason has a five. And this funny guy by the name of Rise to the Equation also has a five, so that's two in a row for him. Viking, 67 with a five. Zep Girl, five with a five. And by the way, uh, her result for some reason just didn't get um, inserted yesterday. Um, but she uh, had a five with the uh, long sandwiches, so now that's two fives in a row, so great job to Zep Girl. And Joe has a five, so congratulations, Joe. And then we got two solid results with Geo Human and Robert House. Remember, guys, you get a four, it means that you made no errors. You just weren't able to um, name all the categories, that's all, okay? Ella Enchanted, Memphis Muir, and Pat Merkland all got threes. That's outstanding, just one error. And then Connor Clark, Edward Collins, and Forsaken, sadly, uh, did not, um, just didn't solve it, okay? They, they got that dreaded next time, which is really annoying. I mean, that couldn't be a more condescending message. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, pretty darn good. And um, please, again, if you do not see your name here, but you submitted a result for the so-called computer equipment, that was the yellow category. That's what we use to designate our um, results. So it helps me, you know, um, analyze them properly. Please put them in, and I'll do my best to make sure that they get um, uh, taken into account, okay? It's, in other words, it's not too late. So there you have it. This is going to be a very exciting round. You know, there's quite a few people who still have those fives, and um, and I see some people are rebounding. I'm just going to say one thing. This Ascension character, I remember when we did our Wordle tournaments way back in the beginning in January and February, he was like, okay, all right? He was okay. I, he, he just learns, okay? He just gets better and better and better. And he is a incredibly um, difficult opponent in Wordle. And he does all the challenges. He never fails them. And I think he's starting to figure out uh, connections as well. And I have to give all our uh, UK friends and folks outside of the US amazing credit for getting fours and fives, Okay. Even threes are pretty good because, let's face it, this crazy game is completely U.S.-centric, okay? If this was, you know, the Australian version of Connections or the U.K. version of Connections, I mean, I'd be lucky to get a one. I really would, okay? Because when it comes to that trivia, I'm really terrible at it. I'm pretty bad just with the American trivia, let alone from another country. So congratulations to all you guys. Uh, two conspicuous absences, by the way, and I just, you know, feel so bad because they're super strong players. Martin Steed, please um, double check that you sent me computer equipment. And our beloved Ellen Sassani, okay? I don't see your result here, and I know you're a strong, strong player. All right, guys, so there you have it. Looking forward to seeing you for the next round of connections.